Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, man? All right, what's up there, Curtis Tam? How are you, man? I'm good, man. Let me go back and uh, be, get some guys in here. Good, happy 4th of July to everybody. Hope you guys had a good 4th, a good safe 4th. Uh, it's still Friday, so I guess the uh, <clears throat> the weekend's still young. Anyway, Keith, it's good to see you, man. Awesome as well. Mr. Inferable Storm, good to see you there, buddy. As always, man. Rob, so what's up, man? Metro, Evan, Computer Man. Good to see you guys. John, you got Justin up in the house. You got the ill hated. What's up, man? A little hated. What's up, man? Wild Fox, the LC Pit. Jay Zs and I was up there, Judge Faze as well. Mr. Ashton Davis, how are you, man? Ron G7 Outdoors, who else we got in here? John, what's up, man? The guy Curtis Tam in there, one night, what's up? Good to see you guys. Mr. Donut, what's up, man? Ryan Reed up in here, Snacks out along. Good to see uh, Mr. Nathan Allen in here, hope you're doing well, buddy. No, <laughs> no tarmacs tonight, man. He's like, oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, man. Alex, Alex, what's up, man? LaBelle, good to see you, man, as well. Mr. Austin Griffin, uh, we got Jay in the house. Tony, what's going on, Tony? Michael, Michael M. Is that a myth? What's up, Michael? How are you, buddy? <laughs> well, thank you there, Curtis. Yeah, man. Well, I had a good fourth, dude. It was, a, it was a little, it's been a little crazy, man. I got one of my kids doesn't really like fireworks. This is a bad time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so it is what it is, man. Sean, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. Honda Boy as well. Mr. Robin. We got a little Taylor in there. What's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. B14 with the B15. B15 with the B14. Sup, FTG. What's up to you, man? Junior in the house. We got Zarian in here. Kona as well. Ghost Rider. Good to see you, man. Super Light Doll. What's up, man? Just looking along those those Pete. I'm looking to buy. There you go, man. Hey, Ghost Rider. What's up? Old Hippie. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well, man. Mr. Lou. Good to see you, buddy. Cody. Cody, not Coney. Warnicott, what's up, man? G7 game, good to see you, man. Where do I get? Well, this is actually from the Steam Workshop. I know, right? This is actually a really good one. So thank you there to the Delayed Ranger. You were not delayed on your subscription. Good to see you, man. So thanks there for the uh, for the sub, man. Clutch, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? Old guy gamer, Scott. What's up, man? Modern Day Outlaw, good to see you, man, as well. Lonely Pancake. <laughs> what's up, man? Chinchilla. Yeah, it is a great truck, man. All the Harvin stuff is good, man. All right, tell you what, man. Let's let's, uh, let's roll this intro. Let's get in here. Let's look at the mod. Tell you guys where to grab this mod. We're going to look at our loads, what we're actually doing, because this is going to be a little bit of a series coming in here this week. I uh, still got to do a little bit of testing, uh, but I might have some new stuff here towards uh, the beginning of this week. But anyway, let's roll this intro. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Maybe. Hey, all right. Well, it's good to see everybody. Uh, I feel like it's been a long time. It actually has been a long time. Um, it's a little July 4th, and like I said, let me, let me figure out this microphone here. Uh, eventually, I actually got my, uh, well, uh, you guys can see it in this corner one here. I got our um, my fourth monitor mount up to go back behind here, uh, but for whatever reason, um, they forgot to send me the big, uh, the, the, the big vase mount. Gotta buy that one. It's like, really? gotta buy that one why it would have been nice if you'd have told me that the pictures inside their actual thing said uh this is what it came with but it didn't it came with a small vest amount so anyway we gotta wait another 15 days on a uh on a europe delivery like so i'm still way over here so i i feel like my chat's looking over here and then i'm like i'm off in the distance so i apologize for that we're gonna have a couple more uh it looks like a couple more weeks of that until uh whenever that delivery comes rolling in so anyway random weeks good to see you man Jew, what's up man what did you think about blowing off the valves, ATS? Uh, I, 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 I guess. It's about all we play here, so uh, I think. What's up, JT? How are you, man? <laughs> yes, you're still collecting uh, Tarmacs. Don't worry, guys. You're still collecting them. So as long as you're here watching, you're still collecting. You're donating all that stuff. You're still collecting. It's just not able to be, you know, you're not able to, like, go off and check them every single five seconds. Because the reason is, is I'm starting to lose... Uh, comments from people and stuff that, that come in. Subscribe. Junior, is that Epiphras? What a, what's an interesting last name. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Epiphras. Is, is, did I say that right? And a new member. Heck yeah, man. Delayed Ranger coming in. A brand new member. So thank you there, Delayed Ranger. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Um, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that, man. Appreciate it, man. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so Roger, what's up, man? So, we've got the 990. So, anyway, it's been a crazy week. Um, 
and I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping things will settle down here once we get in. And there comes a shout out there. Uh, the membership there coming in from Mr. Delayed Ranger. So thank you there, Delayed. Appreciate that. As he starts, as he starts his uh, his journey onto the uh, to the membership hall of fame. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Anyway, thank you, man. Appreciate that, Ranger. Uh, so we got the 990 today, and I'm looking towards uh, you know potentially next week. I got some lights hooked up now on the setup now, which you guys will kind of you can kind of see that now skirking through there on the bottom. Uh, so that's kind of cool to have some some lighting back here. It doesn't feel as in a deep, dark hole. Laquarius Summers Jr. There. Oh, actually, we got a couple in there. Mr. Darren Britton. Thank you there, Darren. And Mr. Laquarius is coming up next. Thank you, guys. Um, so, oh, just, just, oh, okay. Ah, just catchphrase, but that's right. All right, man. Um, so hopefully this week we'll be able to uh, do some new stuff. i got a lot of new trucks. A lot of new stuff is being updated. Um, and also uh, Viva Mexico as well. So I actually love Viva Mexico. So we're gonna actually going to take this truck. We're going to start hauling towards. Um, now, I was going to be honest with you. We might have some crashes because, I mean, I just... I never know with Viva Mexico. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it don't. I'm still on an old original profile. Um, so I've, I've kind of spot checked a few places down there and it seemed to be okay. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, once we make it to Mexico today, we're, we're going to be okay. The second thing is we got Pinga's Low Boy trailer, which is one of my faves, uh, especially to be pulling uh, here with this. There's awesome stuff on it. Uh, it's got the true Low Boy, plus it's got the platform Low Boy with the big runners on the side, extra wides. You haul everything from combines to cranes to huge excavators to like D11 dozers. Um, so anyway, we're going to do some of that today. So there's going to be some heavy hauls. We're actually going to put this 990 uh, to the test. I mean, we got the biggest engine that's got in it. Um, so anyway, what's up there, Zach? Good to see you, man. Um, <laughs> but you'll drive it in game. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I would be the same way, man. I'd be the same way. Yeah, I'll drive it in real life. Uh, is, is he Brazilian? I know. Well, I don't know. Yes, I think so. I know he speaks Portuguese, and Brazilians don't speak Brazilian. They, they speak Portuguese. So, anyway. So, yeah, man, it's a good truck. So, this was owned at the workshop. So, literally, if you pull up the Steam Workshop under Steam, go to the ATS, this is probably going to be the very first truck that you see. Uh, and we got to have a, uh, a nice skin on there from Mr. Pauly. He's got the uh, X marks of spots. It's one of, he's got a, a whole couple of packs up for this one as well. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's, I'm going to show you guys what we are pulling today. So we're still, it's, uh, like, I think, what uh, time is it? Five, almost six o'clock in the morning. So we're still early. Shane Ramsey, FYMA truck drivers out. Oh, well, I don't have either one of those, Shane. So, uh, PS4 and Xbox One is getting truck drivers. So console guys are about to lose their mind and then, uh, no mods will come out for it. And then everybody will be salty. <laughs> It's just how it is. <laughs> Farm Sim lasted about two weeks and everybody got salty because there wasn't a wide variety of mods out yet. But, you know, anyway, I've been there. Wonder what's up, man. How are you? Jody, what's going on, man? You're late. Well, I am too, dude. Uh, we got, actually got started about 30 minutes late tonight. So we finally about to roll. So anyway, let me showcase uh, a little bit here of Mr. Pinga's trailer. You guys can uh, check this one out. So we've got the huge cranes. So as you can see, we've actually got the um, we've actually got the center load boy. So this is the center uh, I guess I don't know exactly what you call it, whether it's the the center, the center loader low boys. So this is, I mean, it's typical for everything they do with excavators, uh, bulldozers, and stuff. They wouldn't necessarily run those up unless it's smaller. All the really big stuff gets loaded on the outside. This is supported on the chassis carriage. Uh, then everything on the back end here is just nothing more for for the support. So uh, we're gonna be hauling this thing down. Now we're gonna be making our way. We are in a ratten right now, and we are going to be hauling this down towards Mexico. So my goal is tonight at least to get into Mexico, uh, and then we will start to see what else uh, start to see what else we get in here. So anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and do it to it. Um, yeah, there we go. I still got the uh, steering wheel on for you guys that just have to have the steering wheel. I don't like it. I had some other people didn't like it as well, but. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, Alan, this truck, I believe, does have custom sounds built into it. Get my steering wheel. I've uh, been driving rally, so I've been way far up on the wheel with all my crap here. So it's, I, I feel like I'm a little fish out of water here. Let's, um, let's see. I think I need to move myself back over a little bit. There we go now. Now I feel a little bit, feel a little bit better. There's that. All right, lights. Now, 
There's honestly not too much on this one, Nathan, besides uh, a few cab options. There's a few interior options, but it really doesn't have a lot of customization on this truck. So a lot of these I have not been customizing mainly because they just don't have enough to really take up any kind of like length of period of time. Like it'd be like five minutes and then we'd be done. And everybody would be like, oh, well, that was uneventful. <laughs> so once we, uh, you know, once we get back towards Outlaws and then 389s, we'll kind of start building some new stuff. But honestly, man, it's just like, eh, I don't know. There's a certain period where, like, you know, we, we kind of built up everything there was. Now, there are a few things coming out. We got some 900 A's. Uh, we got some other stuff in there that just got on the Steam Workshop as well. This truck. So, we've... That's some good stuff, man. Actually, this truck actually sounds really good. Uh, Cameron, I do a little bit of both, man. I, I use the clutch when I get down low because you can't do this like you can in a real truck. You have to have that little clutch point. So once I get off about first or second, especially in single player, I do try to I do try to float them. And you can actually see that on the left. Um, you can actually see when I push down the clutch. If you see it there on the telemetry on the bottom left, um, you can actually see when I'm actually pushing that in when I'm not. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Ed and Mr. Espido? Good to see you guys. Thank y'all for the uh, two bucks there and the buck there. Appreciate it, guys. As always, man. Caleb Rose will be good, man. How about yourself? We actually got a pretty beefy trailer. This thing's, I think, about 140 some thousand pounds. I think is what we are, uh, what you're working with. So we're getting red right now. So we'll be headed down to Albuquerque. And then I think our final destination is North Nogales. So that is actually in the Viva Mexico. So we'll cross the border with this load, or at least we should. So we got a little ways till we get down there, but it'll be a good trip. Good chance for us to uh, kind of ride here from uh, early morning down to, uh, I don't know, to whenever we uh, get there. Hopefully it won't take too long. I don't think it will. But we'll be a little bit slow rolling since we got this big old heavy load on here. But I'll switch too between kind of in cab versus being here. Once uh, once the sun fully comes up, it'll look a little clearer there on, uh, on the screen. But anyway, we rolling now. Hey, what's up there, Tom? No track car? Yeah, we got it hooked up, man. I just don't, uh, I don't do it in this view because it, it makes me sick. But we'll, uh, we'll switch some things up here. That way you guys can see. It's always good to see this kind of stuff, especially, um, there you go. Good, good, good looking truck. I've got the uh, realistic graphics mod as well, so if you're wondering where that skybox and stuff's coming from, that is where it's coming from. That's Steam Workshop mod as well. Hoping there's nobody in front of us. If it is, they're gonna wish they weren't. There's a sunset, or sunrise, I should say. Been a long week, guys. And let's see. Yeah, there we go. What's up there, Twisted? How are you, man? <laughs> well, hopefully not, Jeff. <laughs> hopefully not, man. That's the last thing we need is a bunch of uh, computers on the road. We've already got them. We've already got enough of them out here anyway, right? Yeah, Cameron, I, those uh, actually come off the um, LED beacon set. Now, that beacon set is off of the Steam Workshop as well. 
So if you want to go uh, grab that as well, I think it's the Big T LED light set. Um, so if you go grab that one, it will work with this truck. So you can put you can put them anywhere. You can put them on the mirrors. You can put them on the bumpers. Uh, they'll pretty much go anywhere. Anything will go. So, what's up, Mike? How are you, buddy? Good to see you guys. Y'all got a nice crowd there in Truck Convoy. So tell everybody I said hello. Chinchilla. <laughs> the why it was funny. Yeah, dude, 990 is a good truck, man. It it is a good truck, and I feel like I'm I feel like I'm sitting. Let, let me let me let me squidge up just a little bit here. There we go. I feel like I'm. Official trio. What's up, man? Um. So what shifter you're using is that an actual joystick like controller or just for looks what this yeah oh, this is legit man um, yeah this is uh, I've got it on a Fanatec shifter um, so on the Fanatec shifter I've got a 10 inch billet aluminum extension see it and it's got a uh, it's got a uh, it's got an Eaton Fuller uh, top half on it, so yeah, it's it's legit, man. It's not it's not for look. I don't really do anything for show, man, except for the stream. <laughs> That's about the only thing is show, man. The rest of it, oh hello, 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 hello. <laughs> yeah, eventually, man, I'm gonna you know what once time allows. I really wanted to start doing that this week, but then July 4th snug up on me. Um, I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping this week or something I do a little bit of setup, just explain some of the things I've got, um, kind of, you know, show you guys what I do have and, and throw you some links to some things, especially product stuff that you guys are usually ask a lot. And that's one thing I'll spend a little bit of uh, time on uh, is the shifter setup. There's a lot of guys, man. It's almost every live stream. That's what a lot of guys ask for and ask about. All about the shifter setup. So, what's up there, Andre? I'm good, man. How are you doing, buddy? Pretty decent sound Jake rig too. Not so much from the outside. Ah, uh, B14, we're in the 18. 18 speed. Yeah, I saw that chinchilla. I'm excited, man. Utah will be good. I hope they add elevation. Utah is an actual, <laughs> it got a lot of nice passes in it. So I hope they add the elevation. The challenge. That's what I want. I just want something that SES does to really have the challenge of some some legitimate pulls. So let's see here. Almost get uh, with this light up here. Let me. Uh, we'll pull the brightness down just a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mike. <laughs> I just did there, DeAndre. Train horn and something else. Got no idea what it is. <laughs> What's up there, Dilly? How are you, man? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it does have decent power. It's still a 550. It's not really anything like hugely strong. You know, you're not like um, some of those 389 have like you know 750 horse motors. But as long as these early motors, if the if the right motor gets a hold of it and actually add the power and the torque curves correctly, then you can still pull really heavy loads with not a lot of horsepower. Because horsepower is not necessarily it's not necessarily where all your pulling power comes from. A lot of that can come from just straight up torque getting that load up and getting it moving 
uh, then your horsepower can take over after that. There's a little saying, I can't remember what it is, but anyway. Horsepower is what gets you going down the road and torques what lays you in the seat, something like that. I can't remember. My drag racing buddies used to talk about that all the time. Oh, the LED lights. I actually do like them because it's a little bit easier on the lights, on the eyes. I mean, I've got a couple of lights in here that kind of, you know, kind of lower. They kind of keep things a little bit, but these these upper color lights, man, actually add a little bit of color. Don't make the screen seem so uh, so in your face. There's a lot of times when the brightness is up, man, it's, it's almost too much. Hey, what's up there, Cord? Um, what are y'all getting? <laughs> yeah, before I put you in the wall. <laughs> touche, JT, touche. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. <laughs> Black lines in the video? Um, well... Can't see them on my end, of course. You guys can see something, but I can't see it. I don't see it on my previews. What I'm, what I'm getting at. It's just like a flicker, really. All right. Well, here I'll, I'll um, let me see if I can fix it. I'll, uh, I'll at least reset the, uh, the cam link here and see if it goes away. If it does, you guys let me know. Let's see here. What we got? Oh, I do see it. I do see it. Um, I'll turn it off, turn it back on, see what happens. Oh my god, really? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh I should I shouldn't have been I shouldn't have been tabbed out like that. I stopped running out of full screen and I I'd probably pay a dear price for that. <sighs> yeah, it's okay now. <laughs> yeah, Junior's like, yeah, it's okay now, but your game crashed. So yeah, it's it's all good, man. Everybody's everybody's back in line. <laughs> uh, fix for you? Alright, well good. Good figure, man. Hey, well, they get there. Uh, 65 plays. Appreciate it, man. And also, uh, 65. What was that? Oh, you got two in there. Mr. Ghost Recon. So thank you, guys. Appreciate the subs as well. And a big 32,000 today. I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but we did actually hit 32. So that's kind of cool. So I'm uh, pretty pumped about that. That was a nice, nice little milestone to hit today. I saw it. I was like, hey. I was like, coolness. What's up, Mr. Wonder Wolf? How are you, buddy? Hey, it was worth it. All right, cool. Yeah, y'all gotta just gotta let me know about that stuff, man. I, I'm I'm not I'm not picky, man. I just want stuff fixed. If it takes me two seconds to fix something or reset something, then I'm I'm all for it. Oh, well, look at there! It actually left us right there. Well, what do you know? Those are the the ATS guys were looking on our side there. Like we didn't even miss a beat. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, Shane. Maybe, man. I don't know if there's that many people that like and watch ATS. <laughs> we might have to dive into something else. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go on a whim here. If, if I ask you guys, what are two games that you guys would like to see streamed to the, the channel? And I'm talking sim games. Maybe sim games that we've done. Whatever. And, and if you're new, feel free to feel free to throw in. I'm not going to call you out, single you out. But if you were said, man, you know what? Dude, it would be awesome if you played X. 
I'm, I'm curious, man. Throw it in chat. I'll just kind of keep up with them. Hopefully, we won't run into anybody. All right, Jake says dirt. All right. Explain. Ultimate driving on Roblox. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Fortnite? No, come on, Ghost. Yo, we'll play Fortnite. We'll just play it three wide in here, man. ATS and Rally. ETS and Rally. Oh, I did a lot of rallies. Now, I, I don't see the black lines on mine yet. Those might be shadows. Yeah, they might be shadows because I don't I actually see them. I don't see them now. Yeah, Alaska. We'll definitely do Alaska drug, man. We'll definitely do that. Uh, Josh says, yeah, we'll definitely join the rally team. I hear you. Uh, it could have been, Jay. It could have been, man. And then again, man, you, you know, you never know this stuff, man. Oh, they're going all right, man. Well, hey, well, thank you there, Sonny. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. No, I'm not awesome. You guys are. Drifted in dirt. All right. I'll put those some. Uh, I'll throw some recordings up. See how those things do. Um, just like some hot laps and stuff. And then if you guys want to see, you know, some like practice sessions, some full out stages through an area or something, you know, we'll just kind of gauge it as we kind of maybe progress through the uh, progress through it a little bit. I still got to get my. Uh, we, so all we do, is, you know, spend so much time doing ATS. I'm still like, I'm still getting my dirt legs under me. If that makes any sense at all. I do have another setup though, which is kind of cool, and that's why, I, like, I went with this rig. It also gives me an opportunity to set up the sequential shifter and that Jake and the, the Jake brake. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! And the handbrake right here, side by side. So I just take this unit off, and then pull this up here, and then boom, it's done. Got a dirt rally, five minutes. It's awesome. There you go, Rigo. Well, hey man, whatever does it. A preview teaser? <laughs> I won't do it tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Uh... <sighs> it might be sunny night. Also, by the way, just, just so everyone knows, if you're listening out and you normally do our convoys and stuff, tomorrow is going to be really iffy, and, and I'm going to lean towards probably not pushing it for a convoy because we've got a big family July 4th party tomorrow night, and then I got to get up super early on Sunday. So by the time I think we actually get back home, it's going to be a little bit late to try to get all of that lined up. Um, so I will either push it off to the beginning of the week or we'll just carry it up next Saturday just so you guys know I didn't want to but looking at the schedule and stuff I was like yeah I don't I don't believe I'm gonna I don't believe I'm gonna be able to make that one it could be a lot so <laughs> beam <laughs> yeah but I'll, I'll if I can't do it tomorrow night then maybe I'll give you a little a little test on uh, on Sunday we'll, we'll check it out and you guys tell me what you think my family gather. My wife would probably come. She'd probably come drive some. She's actually funny watching on the rally. She's pretty funny. She'll drive around the track at like 40 miles an hour. How fast do you go? Like, I don't know, like 100. What? Yeah. <laughs> there it went. It took it a little bit longer. Throwing some breakfast. <laughs> I did, you know. I, so, in in, you know, I actually thought about some some racing games. Um, yeah, we used to do Project Cars. People didn't show up for it. Uh, but with this rig and stuff, you know, we've got Dirt Rally on there. We've got a few other things. I know I've got a whole slew of guys here in the Discord that would gladly, you know, throw in for a random night of uh, some Project Car multiplayer. I don't read too much chat when I race. It's a lot different than driving. <laughs> but it's all good, right? Yeah, I enjoyed Wreckfest. The physics are fun. <laughs> I 
<laughs> ah, it's good. That's it, Caleb. Yeah, how far you can make it in the woods. There you go. <laughs> uh. Well, we might be able to sprinkle some of these in. So, I, um, you know, I think I'm actually pretty good on most of all those. If they, if they revolve around driving in some portion, either whether that's a tractor or whether that's something else, because um, there, there's, there's still some room for some things. The only thing is, hello. Only thing is, you guys got to show up when we do these things, especially if you request stuff. You got to show up. Got to show up. And even if you don't necessarily like them, like, meh, maybe, don't really know, kinda, sorta, probably not, but I'll come support anyway. That's what I like. So even if you don't like it, come anyway. You might learn something, you might actually enjoy it. Like, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I like it when Munsoor gets put in the wall. That's actually kind of fun to watch. If you think a convoy on Saturday night's fun, just watch all of us go around Project Cars and put each other in the wall. It's even better. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I get it. I get it. I, I, I get it, man. I'm with you. What's new? Uh, Utah is new for one. Um, as for Utah coming out, um, not too much. Got some new trucks. Got some new updates. So that's really cool to see. I've actually feel like I've got too much, too many updates, man. This has been a busy week for me, so I'm hoping uh, next week I get some more time to do some recordings. Um, I've got a couple one Ki uh, Shadow Walker. You guys see him in the chat all the time. See, he come out with a brand new truck. It's like the '93. It's like the early '80s '93, uh, 9300 International. It looks good. It's got a complete custom interior, completely done from scratch, man. It's like. I love it because I love it when these modders do like their own modding and they do their own modeling and don't just like kind of, you know, lightly go over a model that's already done actually creating stuff. Yeah, I love that. That's something a lot of the other guys do. Hey, Jake, you did? Yeah, cool, man. It took it forever, dude. I, I don't, maybe, maybe it was just a busy time of the year, you know? I mean, that's all I could kind of figure. Uh, I'm glad it did, man. I was kind of waiting to hear from Sharpie as well, and I think Georgia Trucker, I think he got one. I think all three of you guys won one. Um, so, yeah, I was just kind of waiting to see if uh, if everybody had gotten their shirts. They are good. They are good. You just got to be careful how you dry them. You can wash them however. Just be careful when you dry them. They're like any other of those, um, you know, Hanes or any of those shirts and stuff. They'll either shrink in or they'll shrink short ways if you wash them or dry them on heat, you know, so just kind of keep the heat low on it. Um, that's that's what I do. And mine still fit pretty good, so I can't uh, I can't complain. Yeah, Highland, so literally if you open the Steam Workshop, this is going to be the top mod of recent history download. This one's soaring over all the mods because this is one for the truck uh, i mean for the uh, steam workshop so there's a ton of people dying to get this truck it is on the steam workshop literally just look it up 990 and you'll find it it's really hard to miss because it is like the top feature truck uh top feature truck on there anyway <laughs> yeah, nothing like a good half shirt. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yeah, this is Harvin's. Yep, that is correct. Whoever was asked, they think of their uh, Shane. Yeah, this is Harvin's 99. So Frank originally did this, and then Harvin picked it up and said, hey, I can do one better. Fix a lot of things on it. Uh, put some new things with it, put some light packs and some other nefarious things with it. So, got it looking good, so. Yeah, I saw the 900A, man. Yeah, some good stuff, man. It's good to see some things going to the, uh, the actual workshop. A lot of things stay out with the mod sites. Some guys are a little bit scared uh, to download those. But, 
I do have a video if you go back to my main YouTube channel I've got a video down there on how to download mods but it's actually how to download them off the mod sites not just Steam so it teaches you how to um, it teaches you on there how to like get you some ad block for your browsers um, that way you basically don't have to look at any of the ads you can kind of go straight to the download buttons uh, and it teaches you how to maneuver through the adware pages there's a trick to them the trick to getting through those adware pages so if you want to know that i've got that video there on the main screen uh, of my youtube page and you just go down there it's like uh, modding 101 look for the one with the orange text that'd be the one you go grab that one. Oh, let's see wait a minute i think i'm supposed to go this way yep oh crap There we go. Yes, yeah, Shane. Well, I'm going to be doing, um, hopefully here this week, I'm going to be putting out, um, I'll be putting out a nice, well, hopefully a nice. I wish they'd fix this right here. Don't don't let you. It's like when you stop. It's like it engages the park brake ever so slightly, and then you can't take off. So if you guys feel the same way, we had some guys in uh, in the chat uh, this weekend were having problems with that. And it seems to be if you pull the the park brake up and then let it back down, the truck will take off. Like what the crap? What the heck's going on? <laughs> big belly shirt well they got them up to 5xl john they got some huge shirts now so they used to only carry up to three then it went to four and they went to five because i guess people were asking for them so i was like sweet i know i've got guys that ask for them all the time so if that's your size brother we've got them in the store go pick you something out <laughs> so i believe i'll get one of them i'll get one of them I think we've even got something there. You can get your wife something if you're married. Stay here, honey. I got you something. <laughs> that won't be awkward at all. What is this? Nah, don't worry about it. Hey, Captain. Uh, 40s. I couldn't go any further, man. I, I, um, I went and looked at them. And then I looked at like 46s or 48s, whatever the next size up. But I stood in front of them and I pictured having two more. I was like, from a scale perspective, I was like, it's almost too much. So I, I went ahead and went on the 40s. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. If you're going to go any higher and you're not planning on, well, if you're going to go any higher, you really need to go 2K or 4K TVs. Or you actually need to go with TV, mo I mean, uh, computer monitors. Because <clears throat> it, uh, it gets really, really, really hard. Um, it gets really hard to see. And, you know, I don't want to say they get pixelated, but you'll lose some quality when you're stretching a 1920 that far. Um, you, you wind up losing some quality. Yeah, we do a Mac this week, uh, AJ. Uh, we got the Anthem, got an update. You guys kind of like the Anthem. It's a good, solid, uh, it's a good, solid truck. That's another one of Harvin's masterpieces. Yeah, there you go, Jake. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, modern day, these are actual TVs, man. I, I wasn't about to uh, buy computer monitors 40 inch, man. I mean, there, there's a certain limit at which this is a game still. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm still trying to do it in a, in a reasonable budget. Of course, it'd be most of all the YouTube stuff between money from videos, donations, and everything goes to paying for this stuff. So, you know, I mean, to kind of start getting things under completion, you had to buy three of them. You imagine four, four, wait a minute, three 40-inch, you know, monitors, like for an actual, yeah, that's just money I'm not willing to spend. <laughs> so I will sacrifice on some things if it's going to get me to the end game. And honestly... 
I'll be honest with you guys. ATS looks the worst on these TVs. Um, I play Dirt Rally, and I mean, I'm amazed at the color, the vibrancy. You know, I pulled up Dirt 2. I pulled up Project Car. Project Cars 2 was absolutely unreal. Looked absolutely fantastic. I was running 40% on the graphics card, ultra graphics. Then I was running on uh, CPU, was running about 50. And I mean, just performance like crazy. I hop over to ATS, you know, everything gets elevated. And it, I won't say it looks like junk, but it doesn't look as good as all the other games, which is a, kind of a shame because I really enjoy this one. ETS, 10 times better. ATS is the only one that loses something on these TVs. I don't know if it's coloration in the, just the game itself. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Seems like it's a processor, a processing too. Um, it just there's something about it that's different than the other games, even ETS. So, a little disappointed with that, but that's you know, that's not the TV's fault. That's just the game's, it's the game's fault. What's up, Case man? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see, you, man. We haven't had quite a few. Uh, what we drive there, Marchish? We are in the nine, the nine ninety. We'll get you to an outside view here once we uh, get going. We just went through Las Cruces. So we're on our way to North Nogales. We are going down to Mexico, so we'll go across the border. Uh, so we are about to hit uh, Viva Mexico, which you guys seem to like when we go down to Mexico. I like it. It's crazy down in Mexico, man. If you like uh, some crazy roads. So we're going through Tucson. Here's where we're headed. And then we're heading straight south from there. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's get you guys... There we go. So that's what we in today. The 990. Brand new truck right on the Steam Workshop. It's free. It's easy. It's a quick download. It's got all its own custom sounds. Woo! It's got its own uh, got its own lights built in. Horns. It's a really, really, really good Santa truck. Wow, we got close to that car. I'm glad we didn't hit it. Hey, modern, it's a uh, 550 in this, a Cat 550. It's not a uh, not a powerhouse, uh, but honestly, they don't really have too many. Uh, it might be one of the biggest. If they have the 600 Cummins, that would be about the biggest engine that they have in here. So it's actually got some fairly small motors for, I mean, what a lot of people are going to pull with this thing. But, um, you know, here at the end of the day, it's, it's, still, it's still good. Thank you there, AJ. Appreciate it, man. Ah, case, man. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's not about what they said, right? It was about two months, man. We do. You guys are gonna have to. Uh, Y'all are gonna have to tweet me some good pictures. Tweet me some good pic, or just send them on Discord, and I will tweet them out. Uh, if you've got Twitter, go ahead and let me know. Follow me. Tag me in the, some of those on Twitter. Let me retweet those. It's just uh, customers that have bought the new button box there from ASP and you guys bought uh, you guys have bought you know if you especially if you bought my faceplate it's gonna be kind of embarrassing if you didn't buy my faceplate and if you didn't it's okay <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad at you I'm not gonna ban you oh my god you got Jeff Aviano's in there I'd be like yeah okay alright fair enough <laughs> fair enough oh how much did the setup cost the the everlast question that you guys want to know <laughs> $45,000 You know what's cool about a rig is you can actually drive with your knee. And no, it didn't cost 45000 <laughs> You'd probably be surprised. But in all honesty, like I, like I do tell, I don't really know how much every single thing. I mean, I do know how much every single thing, but it's been a building process. I don't, I don't ever buy things thinking of what the end price is i think about the little small builds and little small payments to get there and then when i get there you know i'm like sweet it's complete you know so i'll buy this 
and then I'll buy this and then I'll raise money and donations and do you know basically compile all of my money for YouTube I'll put all of that all in one big bucket and then I'll say okay I can get this and this and this this month and then I'll wait till the next month and I can buy XYZ or I'll sell this off and you know so I mean it's a it's a constant build and process and that's what I do try to tell you know everybody that's you know it, it's really kind of I don't want to say it's dumb but it is kind of dumb to think that you can just you know I mean maybe some people can just go out and just buy it all in one big one big fail but honestly that's that's the fun of the journey is building it and, and doing it yourself. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I got a feeling we're going to have to be asked to uh, stop at the way station here. Oh, there you go. Okay, old modern. Get on it, bro. Get on it, man. Uh, on the new dragon, I don't have any idea there, Wolf. Don't have any idea. It's not for PC, I don't think. Uh, we're getting a pull in. is it custom well it's well it's kind of custom but it's from a company it's actually in the description so the asp uh custom simulations or uh, the asp is all anyway the link is in the description plus 30 buck off but anyway they're the ones that made this and what they do is they make a custom faceplate um that's uh they've got some other youtubers on there as well um but yes yeah, so they've got me on there so now i'm, I'm kind of one of the guys that you can choose now which is really cool So if you guys want to go grab that, there's a $30 coupon, so you can get your butt box and it'll pay for some of the customizing options if you want to. They're kind of pricey, I'm not going to lie, but honestly, unless you know how to do one custom yourself, they're kind of far and few between. Littermore, what's up, man? Jesse, what's up, man? Yeah, it'll be cool until everyone gets mad that there's not enough map and there's the trucks are old. Um, it's not American enough. It's, you know, and that's kind of a shame because I think a lot of console guys from what I've been fielding in the discord and some other things that people have said, um, it's not going to be like ATS. So, I mean, you got to kind of go in with it, that understanding. It's not going to be ATS or it's not going to be mods galore, uh, even like a farm sim. You just got to go in with the right um, play it for what it is and enjoy it for what it is because I know I think there's gonna be some people unfortunately I think will be very disappointed with it because they assume that it's gonna be ATS and and it's not it looks good though I mean, don't get me wrong if I was on console I'd be playing the heck out of it <laughs> Corey what's up this just here ding, 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 ding. I need to put a little scroll in sidebar we are on the cat but anyway that kind of stops you from being able to talk about it. we're on the uh, the oh cat 550 and we're gonna to have to change the tranny out in the new uh in the next door uh 18 speed leo what's up man uh i just want to know what the whole setup is for the gear shifter all right so bat basically I can tell you that. So the Fanatec is the shifters. The, you know, Fanatec only makes one shifter. So the Thrustmaster one's about 200. The Fanatec one allows you with one switch to do sequential, plus actually has a seven pattern, seven speed pattern, plus reverse. So it actually gives you eight gates. Um, and you don't have to switch the plates out for them. You switch a switch on the side and it changes it from sequential to H pattern. And it's about 249 for the Fanatec one. The 10 inch billet aluminum I bought with the exact same thread pattern is about 15 bucks. And then the cap on the top here, you can find it on the Amazon page. 
as well as Fanatec, uh, Fanatec Shifter on my Amazon page. If you go down into the description, look down there at the bottom. It's an Amazon affiliate link. Both of those items are on there. Uh, and this one comes out of South Carolina for about, I think it's about 100 bucks. So that's that's pretty much the whole shifter setup I've got here. And thank you there, Highland Winter Wolf. Appreciate that, man. That's $5 there for Mr. Winter Wolf. Winter is coming. Winter has arrived. <laughs> Game of Thrones reference there for Game of Thrones fans. Yeah, Mono, we've been up there. I've been up there plenty, man. I typically, uh, you know, we kind of, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of do change things up a little bit. Um, it was kind of funny. Like, we, we did a little bit of the, the forestry, which I actually loved the forestry pack. I mean, it was great. Um, but it was kind of odd. I mean, it's like it was here, and then everybody was like, eh. <laughs> It's like, I don't know. Maybe everyone just blew the logging right out of proportion. Um, I don't know. But if you like that stuff, man, uh, Mex Mexican or Extreme Mexico has got some roads in here that make that logging road look like a pansy. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to go down here into Mexico, and uh, we're going to be driving around uh, some here in the next um, next week. We'll be uh, spotting to hit in and out there of, uh, of Viva Mexico, so that'll be cool. I enjoy that map. I'm glad it got a nice update as well. And I may even try my hands at coast to coast, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Uh, yes, Matt, except for you'll have to look for the billet. I had to look for the billet aluminum thing. Um, and, and off the top of my head, I can't remember where I got it. But the, at least the Fanatec shifter, the bracket that would hold it to a table, as well as the cap here, um, you can get all of that off my Amazon page. Yes. That is correct. And honestly, if you buy it from there, a little bit of that proceeds, Amazon will pay me like an advertiser's fee. That's kind of what being an, an affiliate link is. Um, so you don't actually pay any more for it. But if you buy it from my link or use my link to get into Amazon, then they'll give a, a little a little proceeds back to the channel. Um, so it's a good way to still support the channel, but you don't really have to pay anything else extra. It's, I mean, it's pretty a slick deal. It's like you still get to put all your money into your game and stuff, but you get to support the channel as well. So, I mean, it's kind of a twofer. It's cool. I wish I knew a way to, like, push it out there more, um, you know, so I could get better with it and learn more about it. But uh, maybe one of these days. Michael Barr, thank you there, Michael. Appreciate it, man. Uh, bought a Logan trailer. Don't load it's available. Uh, you trying to do it on multiplayer core? You're doing it on single. Make sure in the the uh, make sure you're in the the cargo market. That'd be the biggest one. Yeah, try that, Matt. Let me know if you got questions, man. Don't 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 hesitate to pop me a DM in the Discord or something. Um, you know, if you got a question on something, because I mean that's my you know that's my gig. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you guys got questions on some of this gear and stuff, I mean the only thing you've got. I wish I'd have had somebody I could connect it with that would have said, yeah, don't do this, don't waste your money. Just, even if you don't have it right now, save up and go get this. This is much better based on what I know. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I didn't have anybody, so. I was all alone. <laughs> Looks like we really need to stop up here and grab us a fuel stop here pretty soon Let's see if we can squeeze back over uh, so yes yeah, so this is the mod this is this map is regular so you are you're looking but we are fixing to go to Nogales which is actually in Viva Mexico so we're gonna cycle around Tucson here down to Nogales and then we're going into I, I can't remember exactly I had to look at the map can't remember if we're going to cross the um can't remember if we're going to cross it on this first one or if we're going to cross it on the second one i mean you'll find out here in a minute that's what i thought 
That's what I thought. We should be getting into it actually here pretty soon. Go-Go Juice. Who says that? Somebody says Go-Go Juice. Who is that? Who says Go-Go Juice. Is that Northern Alex? Northern Alex says it's Go-Go Juice. Hey, there's the man. What's up there, Cash? At a worker hour, you buddy? Mm. That's it. Look at Shane in his geography lesson. Hey, he even got the spelling correct, man. And that's why you watch, John, because you're hoping I'm going to run out of fuel, right? <laughs> man, I sure hope he runs out of fuel today. I'll never let him hit the end of it. All day, every day. <laughs> uh... Gotta have fun with it, man. Gotta have fun with it. Oh, the syrup dolly. Nice. Yeah, I told him this week, man, I'm gonna get the uh, get that 9300 out, man. I'm gonna whoop up a good video on that one, man. It's a good truck, man. It's a good truck. Good looking truck. Now, I, I gotta ask you, did you model the outside? Um... Did you model the outside too, or was it just the, uh, I think, because you did one of those all the way through, didn't you? Like the interior, didn't you do all of it? I had to refill, man. Blech. Cotton mouth up here. All right, let's see here. Uh, all right, so we got some fuel coming up. Ricardo, thank you there. Appreciate the sub, man. All right, so we are. All right, so we are in Nogales. So we do have a fuel stop coming up. Mm. I'm trying to see actually where I'll uh, be better off getting off the road here. Yeah, let's let's get off on Mariposa Road. We'll get in here in the Gallas, and then we'll uh, there we go. Water, Wyatt. I wish it was something fun and exotic, but no, I'm sorry, man. That's one thing I I can't bring myself to do, and it's drink on stream. There could. Considering I work for a church, that's kind of hard. <laughs> you don't want the preacher to be watching. What the heck are you drinking? No, no, no nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing more unsettling for you to walk in on Sunday morning. Hey, man, I was watching the stream last night. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, the palm trees of the south. All right, let's see where there it is. Of course, this thing's got to be the the little bitty one. Here we are pulling this heavy haul in here like a doubt dog on balls. Yeah, sorry you been full tilt. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, John, holy water. Yeah, I don't know that that would. Uh, I don't know that that would pass. <laughs> What's up there, Caleb? 32's TV, man. Yeah, Josh, we are, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll float them on the way out. Now, do you guys really know that, or do you just kind of ask me, because you just, hopefully that I don't. I'm just curious. I think I know. I'm getting better at floating them. Some trucks are better than others. Um, some of them aren't really good at all, um... 
some of them are not good at all um, and then some of them i guess where the guys have gone in and tried to mess with each individual gear ratio um some of them aren't, uh, yeah. They, some of them are like 250, and then some are 375 and 425, and it's hard. Then some of them are actually kind of like own the, the 450, 500 mark almost every single gear change, so it actually is not too hard to follow along. But yeah, some are easier than others, I guess. So, just to catch up, you guys here that are on there, oh man, Rob Wilson, man, thank you, bro. Super nice of you, man. Big shout outs there to Mr. Rob Wilson, man. This a $25 tip, man. Heck yeah. Well, Rob, man, he, he brought the spice to the party tonight. Please don't crash. All right. Good, we good. All right. Well, thank you there, Rob. Appreciate it again. Love the vids. Thanks for all the helpful info. Finally got it running with 135 Washington DX11. Spokane, Washington. It's so nice to see you up in here. Well, thank you there, Rob. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad things got squared away, man. Uh, squid? I'm not sure, man. I'll just put it back in there, man. If I didn't see it, uh, that I wasn't on purpose. I always let everybody at least give uh, give two two or so questions in there before, you know. Uh, if I don't answer them, then after like three, it's kind of like, yeah, he's probably not going to answer them. <laughs> Easy there, SUV. Don't go too far. And if you guys are paying attention, you, you should see it by now, but the uh, the left pedal there, you can actually see when I push the clutch in uh, versus when I, you know, push the other end. So if you guys are asking if I'm floating, just you can look. Tutorial, what's up? It's all good? Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Jarvis. All right, Jarvis. Uh, Oscar, whenever... Uh, Whenever I get some time, man. It's been uh, busy with the fourth. So I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping this, this coming week I've got some time. So I'm really hoping this week we can uh, I can get a couple in there. Just showcase what I've got. Uh, and let you guys, you know, especially stuff like the shifter. People want to see what the shifter is. Whoops, hello. My bad, people. Uh, people want to see what the shifter is and... Like what pedals I've got, what wheel I've got, how the stuff attaches, what I'm running on the iPad, which will actually change once I get the TV monitor up there. They uh, they sent me the wrong this amount, of course, so now I've got to wait for a extra large 100 millimeter one to come out of Europe. So that'll take another 15 days, because you know it's the base amount that goes for their system. So anyway, I'll be waiting on that. Um, but Robbie, I I want to say I got it at Amazon, but I'm not completely sure. I'd have to dig that up. Um, it my shifter extension only works on a 20 mil thread, which is what the Fanatec shifter is. If you've got a G29 shifter, I would venture to say that this cap is going to be enough for the weight. If you've got a TH8A, it might would be enough. Um, but uh, they do make some smaller like general kind of adapter extensions that might would work to give you a little more lift but honestly with the g29 it's got such a short throw on it by the time you add one of these shifter tops to it it actually makes it feel pretty decent but it just it just depends on what your uh, what your setup is all right so there's the sign for mexico so we should be uh and this is a this is killer man this is a lot different than what it used to be Uh, let's see which way we're going. I haven't gone through any of this either, so he's fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we don't run into anything nasty and also that we don't crash. Because I haven't really effectively tested all of this yet, so yeah, we'll find out. Find out what happens. Uh, I don't do it a lot, Josh. I don't do it a lot. Um, I have it for when we go to 2D view and you guys are like in the cab. I'll use it then so you guys can kind of look around with me. But honestly, man, with 3 view now, it, oh, it sucks. It's, it sucks big. 
Oh wow. What in the world? What kind of bumps were those? Wow. I don't know, Wolf, is that is that uh Wolf are you Zachary? Oh, wrong gear. There we go. I'm sorry that. Whoops. Might be y'all. Alright, bienvenidos. I know guys. Yeah, wolf blood. I, yeah, I was asking if you were Zachary Deck. If you weren't, it's uh, like a yes or no. It's fine. Uh, I don't. Well, <laughs> I didn't before, John. When I was in a much smaller screens and they were kind of like spanned out. Now, yeah, it kind of messes with me now. Um, and so, like, the, really, the only reason I keep them is when we do that 2D view. Uh, I'll still like force myself to use it a little bit so you guys don't have to look up on the um, on the truck so close in because really for me it's a lot harder for me it's a lot harder to actually um, use that when I'm when I'm here because I'm now really close up to the dash and I actually would love to be a little bit closer so this feels like a windshield but it doesn't really translate that great on stream, which is the only reason that I still have the wheel up here. People are like, oh, well, I want the wheel back up there. I was like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I aim to please. Eh, there it is. All right. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and run that up. All right. Oh, good. Let's try to... Oh, cool. We get it back at the end. Sweet. No, AJ, I don't drive with anybody. Nobody ever asked me to drive with them. Okay. Well, nobody wants to drive with me. Nobody wants to ask. Then, Okay. Our convoys are honestly big enough with 45 to 50. Yeah, any more would be a meme. Um, so yeah, I mean, I typically I don't I don't go out looking for everybody to I don't have to have people drive with me to you know have a stream or do anything. So yeah, I mean, it's, nobody's ever asked me to. Well, I would consider it if they wanted to, but normally most people just hate us or hate the. F2G or hate the company or they hate whatever because of me. I, I don't know why because half the people I've never crossed them They just don't like it. I don't know why It's just a product of um, product of YouTube and competition and uh, Competing communities, which it's fine with me you know, a lot of guys don't like sharing subscribers. I'm kind of one of those you know, It's just it's a business model, you know so it's preference, man. But I don't, I don't, I don't hold ill will because because if, if they don't, you know, if they don't ask, that bother me. Now, I mean, it's not even haters going to hate. Some guys just hate because they want to. Um, but then there's other guys that just that's their business model. They don't really drive with a lot of other YouTubers, and it's fine. It doesn't matter to me. People want to drive, they can reach out. I'm somebody I like, then we'll take that job. All right. Uh, cool. So, run another one in. Let's do, let's do one more. So let's change the trailer up if we can. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's see. Let me get you guys on the same screen. Here we go. Oh. Um. All right. So here's what I've got on job market wise. You guys can let me know. We can actually put the um. We could put the rails up. Now we've got uh, this is like one of those logging uh, knuckle boom. Let's see what we got here in Nogales. We we kind of did a few of these last time. Um, so if you wanted to, let's let's um, let's 
I was about to say, watch all of these be back north. Son of a gun. <clears throat> all right, we will um, we will fix that. All right, let's uh, let's go trailer manager. Let's pull this. Oh, what time? What time we got? Let's see. Been going for hour twelve. All right, let's do this, and we'll get one more good one. We'll get us we'll get us into the south end here. Um, let's go and dismiss, and then we'll reconfigure here. Yeah, thank you there, Zach. Yeah, man. Yeah, John. Well, hey, man. It's anybody's welcome, man. Uh, that's kind of that's always been the uh, always been the mantra here. I respect, uh, just respect your fellow guys here in the Discord, and um, you know, act like a grown up. By gosh, you got you a place here to come hang out and drive with everybody. It's pretty simple, really. <laughs> that's what I tell people. You know, it's actually kind of simple. There's really not much to it. Just come in here to act like somebody, and yeah, you're welcome. Uh, let's do, let's, let's tell you what, let's do a little heavy haulage. Let's go ahead and throw the double on this sucker. Um, yeah, so we'll throw that on there. We got the low boy up. All right, so let's do, uh, let's do a three, three. How about a two, two, two? Can we do a two, two, two? Yeah, so there's a two, two, two. Cool. Um, we got a three, got a three, three, one. Yeah, three, three, two. Let's do the two, two, two. How about that? Let's roll that one out. All right, let's uh, change some wheels here. There we go. All oh, this is there. Oh, let's do that. We got it there. Oh, wind is all. Well, thank you there, Mr. SP Note. Appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you there for the two bucks. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know, man. I, you know, so I went back and looked, and from what I can tell, it looks like they pretty much came out with uh, Washington at about the three-month mark when they got into the showing the screenshots, like the serious screenshots. They've already got a teaser video. So it. I don't want to tell you that it's going to be out by the end of the summer, but I would think by early fall. Like, see, a lot of games usually release something in September to early October. And a lot of new games come out. So my thought is, at least at some point, they're going to um, have something come out about that time. So that would be my guess. Because they still got new trucks. And the new trucks are supposed to be here at the end of this year. So if they pull Utah out, then they can save the 136 update to come out at the end of the year as a Christmas gift for the ATS community. That's my thoughts, whether or not it is. But that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. Um, just, that's just some random buffoonery thought there of me thinking that that's what's actually going to happen. It probably won't. So don't hold your breath on that. Um, but you know, if you like to wish for the stars and shoot for the moon and land in your backyard, then my gosh, just believe everything I just told you. <laughs> All right. Good old heavy haulage action coming at you here in hmm, 10 seconds. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's join this bad boy up. All right, so probably need to pull forward a little bit. Oh, you don't like it, Scott? <laughs> well, this one's actually pretty good, though. This one's nice, man. It's even got chrome inserts in the back, so it's it's pretty good. <laughs> there is um. You know what? Come to think of it, I'll just I'll just take a couple seconds out here because this this might be worth it. So you don't like that, and let me let me let me do that. Let me throw this one. Let me throw this one your way. Let me make sure it's in here. All right. Watch it. Probably is not on here now that I've actually gone this far. I <laughs> uh, don't see it anymore. Where'd it go? I bet it's on the single. All right, let's just try it, and then if it is, then yeah. What about that? <gasps> cool as that. Three X has got a complete folded up trailer on there, which is kind of cool. 
four axis and then the one so all right there's your choice you got a folded axle or you got the uh the the heavy haul the uh, the official heavy haul which one you want <laughs> i like the folded all right well <laughs> wonder it says the heavy <laughs> Well, the good thing about it is the same loads show up on the same trailer, so um, it is kind of cool. All right, we'll, we'll go. You guys look at the heavy hauler. All right. We did kind of just do that. But, yeah, anyway, you can kind of see it's got some cool stuff on there. So, all right, let's get back to what we were doing. Back to our regular, sch regular scheduled program. Yes, I would like to cancel all modifications. We're going to use it. Yes. All right, there we go. Sweetness. All right, let's see what time we got. We got... Um, all right, 8 p.m. So let's go ahead. Let's make it... How about let's make it f uh, 6 o'clock. Ooh, look at the haze. Oh, man. Mexi oh, man. The Mexico sunrises are absolutely something to die for. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Let's pick us up. Uh, let's pick us up something here in No Goddess. Hopefully, we can go. We can go south. Mm, the rear reservoir tank's pretty cool. Mobile crank catch, of course. All this is everything is north. All right, let's see what is this, Cananea. Just give me something south, guys. Give me something south. There you go. All right. Good lordy. Oh, that's just a trailer. We got to get something better. Rock trucks. See, all this stuff's going north. I just want to go south, guys. All I want to do. Just, just give me a stinking load going south. Um... All right, there we go. What is that? Oh, it's a wheel loader. A wheel loader. I like for something, something bigger, something, something snazzier than uh, rollers. <laughs> like really, man. That's all we can do. What's up there, Ethan Howard, man? All oh, the truckie overlay. Uh, I'll, I'll help you out with that. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, if you're asking me if I collect them, no. I did as a boy. I did collect trucks. I actually love trucks. Okay, you got to be kidding me. Out of all of these, I don't have one going south. I've got a, you know, I've got this one, but I don't know if the trailer. I don't want to just haul a trailer. That's stupid. Now, where would you haul something better than that after you? Unfortunately, being on the map mod, I can't actually uh, anything going south out of here. Yeah, the 980s are really cool, but large reservoir tank. Uh, well, we can. Well, we could do that. We can actually just. Uh, <sighs> All right, so let's do this since we don't have anything basically going south. Except for rollers. Let's uh, let's speed up time. So let's go to five o'clock, which will cycle us over to the next day, and then we'll go to six o'clock, and then five o'clock again. All right, so that should transfer our trailers over. Let's see what we got now. Oh, nice there, be. I saw you playing that. I saw you playing that. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Woo! FR780, straight out of Farm Sim. Coming at you. Finally got some stuff down here, at least one anyway. Let's see what else is coming over here. Agua Prieta. Let's see if there's anything decent besides kind of these cheesy loads. We've already seen a lot of these. Just wanted to hold something different. It's all I wanted. 
Short little trips. I can't believe everything is going north there. Literally everything. Crawling tractor. Yeah, we're not hauling default loads. Sorry. All right, looks like it's going to be... Oh, man, I, the rock truck is a cool one. All right, so it looks like we are going to haul... If it's the only thing out there, looks like we're going to be hauling the... Um, yeah, it's like we'll be hauling the FR-780. Now, we're not going to haul the, all of this, all right? So we'll get on here. We'll get on the road. We'll see how far we get here. Maybe uh, maybe we'll get about 20, 20, 25 minutes or so. And then if I have to, I'll either put this one on pause and basically we'll finish this map out. Because if you can see right in here, I don't, I don't know if this translates, but there is a lot of stuff in this new area. So we've got all the way over here. So this whole map right now, now at the bottom is filled up. Uh, and it's got some absolutely awesome roads down there. So uh, we will be able to check a lot of that stuff out here over the next week. So that's why I said we've got a lot of stuff coming in. Um, it's going to be really cool. We won't do all of this today, but um, we'll, uh, we'll at least get a good start on it. So, all right. So this is in the city I'm in. So cool. Looks like we're going to basically... Let's see... Let's go ahead, let's put ourselves out here, then we'll drive in, because I think it's... Yeah. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, Scott Page, yeah, dev consoles. I'll just, I'll just speed up the days, um, and I'll just tack through a couple days, because uh, whenever you, you can't go back in time, you can always go forward. Um, so I'll use it to go to 6 o'clock and then 5 o'clock, and that'll actually speeds me up 26 hours, or 25 hours. That way I can, way I can get in front. And that'll recycle the loads as well. <laughs> yeah, we just needed a few more beacons on here. I think we got enough. Alright. Alright, it's five. Should be uh six o'clock. We should be yeah, there they go. Starting to get a little uh all right, so I'm gonna leave it like this because this uh, the sunrise here, man, in Mexico is like it is nice. Hey, what's up there, Ben and Mayhem? How are you, man? Uh, if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are, uh, if you're looking for the Dev Console, Scott, um, I've actually done a video on it. If you go back to the main, uh, my main YouTube page, I've actually done a video on it, so you can check it out. Man, look at that. Beautiful. turn up here. There we go. Yeah, so John, uh, the, the core i7 is really just your processor. The i7s are good. Um, they're pretty much kind of the new standard. Uh, your main thing that's going to, what's going to produce your, your graphics on game are going to be your, your graphics, uh, graphics cards. Mine's a 1080 Ti which means I've got 11 gigabytes worth of uh, computing power on this graphics card. Yeah, 
at least for right now, for most any game, even playing a triple wide, it's more than it can handle. Um, I don't really have any problems. ATS every now and again gives me issues because ATS just is not on a very good engine. Uh, that is is really speeds through the process, right? But I can play all the triple triple A titles, three screen and full and full res and full ultra and have no problems whatsoever. ATS, yeah, not so much. They just uh, for whatever reason did not. Uh, come on, get get in the get in the game there. There we go. Whatever reason, ATS just does not uh, doesn't move as well in three three wide. <laughs> Put Georgia in. <laughs> it's gonna be a while on Georgia, buddy. Oh man, I can't. This is good, man. I'm glad you guys are getting to see this sunset in Mexico. I mean, the sunrise. It looks so freaking good. Love it. Let's see. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get outside. We'll get prepped for this one. Hell, hell. Whoa, my God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's probably one of the hardest roads to do this on, but you know, whatever. We got nothing else better to do, right? Yeah, not quite there, Mike. <laughs> Save your applause for later, it, it, but it is worth it for the uh, for the sunrise, man. There you go. Start to come into frame now. Anyway, it's beautiful. All right, anyway. Well, I tell you what, man, there's a ton of people in here that go, uh, go convoying every night. So anytime you need help with Truckers MP, I'm sure those guys will help you out, um, get you squared away. Yeah, Google it first and see if you can figure it out. It's, it's actually fairly easy once you figure out the concept. Um, but yeah, you're more than welcome to come on there and join those guys for work nights or anything else that's going on. They, uh, they do a good job. And they'll work with you, teach you how to do it. It's not like you got to come in here and know everything. I try to also tell new guys that have questions about dispatch. You know what? I'll, I'll take that opportunity right now. Um, a lot of guys get in there and they get scared about the dispatch because they don't know what to do and think that's what our company is. You can do the, 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 the modes however you want to. Um, the one thing is, is that uh, we offer a little something extra with our dispatch. So if you guys have been playing ATS for a while and you want to... Um, and you want to have a little something extra that is not your uh, your mom and pop's dispatch center, um, then you know, these guys have got it. They've done a really good job. It's got a little bit of paperwork and some load miles, and they're actually doing mileage. Uh, so each driver is getting now miles or money per the mile. Uh, so based on your performance and how long you've been with the company, then it determines your, your actual pay. So they're keeping spreadsheets and Google Sheets with all this stuff on it. It's absolutely insane. So it's good stuff. I saw that old hippie. I saw that, man. I don't know if we got anybody from, from Cali in the uh, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is right, man. Thumbs up to the crew.
Man, that, uh, I tell you what, man, that F-R-80 looks, uh, looks better in here than it does in farm sims. <laughs> uh, all right, Santa Ana. Ethan, what if they did ATS roleplay in GTA? What about that? Would that be enough to satisfy the itch that you have to scratch? <laughs> What's the MP like on ATS? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, James. Uh, if you go back a couple videos, you will see anything you see FTG United Logistics Convoy. That's all of our multiplayer stuff. I don't normally do multiplayer like during the week. Uh, I usually save that for the whole entire crew to do. So if you want to go check and see, uh, if you go check and see what that's like, uh, you're more than welcome to. And that'll kind of give you a, a, a fairly decent understanding about how multiplayer is. It's all the default game, so there's no mods on it yet, uh, which I don't know that there really ever will be. Um, but at any rate, you kind of get an idea of what it's like. Hammer Mike, what's up, man? Dominic, what's up? ATS roleplay on GTA. That'd be different, wouldn't it? It'd be like, seriously different. My, is that closing? All right. My Dale. Thank you there, My Dale. Appreciate it, man. Ah, oh, I hear you there, Amber. What's up there, Rip79? The, hey, how to use the underglow on that truck on the keyboard. Uh, so the underglow on this truck probably comes on via the beacon. So I guess the beacon would be the O key. So that turns it on. So if you have beacons like I do, then it turns on the underglow. If you don't have these, then don't turn the, uh, don't install beacons on your trailers or your upper if you just want to have the glow on there. That makes sense? There we go. Look at that. It even puts the extenders out on this thing. I mean, that is a bad Mama Jamma heavy hauler right there. Far 780 New Holland of Mexico. Yeah, 5M adds a whole nother spectrum to it. All right, so we are uh, we are officially been in Viva Mexico for a while, but we're now on the Viva Mexico open road. So uh, you guys have, oh, well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were. So we are now officially south of the border. So you can kind of see how good this map is. It's not your, um, a lot of people get in these maps and think they're just a, a little bit of a cut and paste. There's really not much of anything in, in Viva Mexico that is, um, that's not cut and paste, man. So much of this stuff is really, really, really good. So, hey, all right, John Anderson. Thank you there, John. Appreciate it, man. A nice new membership there from Mr. John Anderson. I think uh, Arn Anderson, the old wrestler. John Anderson, wasn't that the guy from, uh, wasn't he a country singer? His name John Anderson. You're not that guy, are you? <laughs> Mike W seven. So they put that on the soundboard and whenever Mike 7 comes in, we can just bow down. Have to have some from our other subscribers. Never subscribers pop in the room. I mean, uh, sponsors pop in the room. <laughs> Just a swing it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there you go. Yeah, man, Hammer. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I'll be around Sunday. Uh, I was telling the guys earlier, uh, at least the ones that may think that we might do a convoy tomorrow. I'm going to be family stuff tomorrow night. Pretty well, fairly late. And I know we're getting the kids back in bed here after fireworks and all that other stuff. It's going to be tough. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So I'll probably put something up to let you guys know sometime in the morning so you can kind of filter out that message to everybody else. You know, we can just kind of <clears throat> we just kind of go from there. But we'll either do it in the beginning of the week or we'll wait till next Saturday and we'll carry on next Saturday. One of the two. But a, a convoy on Sunday might not be bad because I won't have anything to do on Sunday, so I'll, I'll be able to join for that one. Uh, I don't have much music I can play, Ethan, because uh, most of it's copyrighted. And if I play EDM music, you guys hate it. So I don't actually pay for a music service because YouTube doesn't let you do that like Twitch does. Now, if I play music now, it'll get ruined. So... Yeah, that's fine with me, Mike. I don't care. You guys set it up. I'll be around. Whoa, whoa. Woo. Uh-oh. 25 South. Long city name. <laughs> I forgot that sign. Oh, yeah, that little sign. You had to worry about that little sign. All right, so you floaters out there. We're floating all the way through all 18 right now. Watch it learn, you Padawans. Yeah, Scott, it may you do anything, dude. You can change the whole entire game. Um, I used to use it to... Um, I, I tell you, it's, it's actually kind of funny, because whenever they changed um, the scale of ATS, I'll tell you like a little fun fact, whenever they changed the scale of ATS, when you really get up next to that like 80 and 85 mile an hour, like it feels like you're absolutely flying. And I mean absolutely flying. So one of the things that like they offered was an option for you to warp your speed down unfortunately guys use it to warp their speed faster so whenever they're doing trucks for truck companies and stuff they'll warp themselves faster and then they'll start out a new load and then so basically they can create a load and do something you know in half the amount of time and, and receive basically double the amount of miles so it's it sucks but you could go both ways with it and another thing when they when they offered the warp function what it allows you to do is actually slow the game down. Um, so that's, it's kind of fun to kind of just play around with it. But it actually, the game feels better on like 0.9. So you randomly get to looking at stuff. Uh, the warp function on uh, 0 0.9 is actually feels pretty good. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it now because it'll ruin my truck books. My truck books miles that are going to come in now. Oh, am I allowed to get at least? What's up there, Luke Lynn? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. There you go, Mike. Yeah, if we get started all through, we we'll just have to let everybody know where we're going to be at. That's all we need to do. <laughs> I guess it's got some... Uh some new stuff here. Let me get a little outside where you guys can see a little of the uh, well truck trailer.
Yeah, I feel on that one, man. It was 90, uh, 97 degrees here in North Carolina in the shade with a light summer mist of humidity in there. Miserable, man. It was nice a couple weeks ago, but oh boy, it got hot this week. I think a lot of this has been redone. Like this, a lot of this road's been redone. At least it feels like it. Let's see, we're coming down on the. F Whoa! Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! The load back there is a little heavier than we thought it was. That's gracious. Mile 75. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> man, that's about hot here, man. 57. Where you at, Lamel? I think you've told me before. Clayton. Clayton, North Carolina. Man, not too, not too far from me. I'll say too far. Man, I've got some All right, actually got some stuff drawing in here. This is pretty good. Tell yeah, they boys have been at work. I Like this because uh, if you play this stuff enough, you can actually kind of see You know as they start adding in more stuff and you know adding in uh, you know to some new cities and connector roads and bridges and you can actually see them boys actually putting a, quite a bit of work into these maps. It's good to see. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Easy. Easy. Ah, Kansas. Yeah, own uh, Nick T's from uh, over there in the Kansas. Kansanite. Whoa! <laughs> it's not garbage, man. It's a good truck. Everybody likes it because it's on the Steam Workshop. We got some custom stuff coming up here this uh, this week, though. We got, got some payware stuff. But I'm sure I'll still get plenty of hate for the payware. And it's not free. Well, the free stuff is trash. Well, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I, I like the that originally uh, Dimitri's, uh, Dimitri's 800. That's one of my favorites. Now you can put the uh, put the dump bed on it. It's, it's cool, I like that one. <laughs> oh, the 990. Oh, it said the 880. We like the 990. Okay. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good truck. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's kind of got a new school, a new school flair on an old favorite. So, a lot of people gonna like it. Plus, it's a, a Steam Workshop truck, which a lot of people appreciate because they don't have to either buy a truck or they don't have to go to a website uh, and download it. You know, me, I don't care, but you know, hey, a lot of people, a lot of people like it for that reason, that reason alone. So, whatever. But at least we make up for it in the load that we haul, right? You got the FR 780 from I think from Farm Sim maybe on there. I don't know. It's a good model. Looks good. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be an old one. Yeah, I would. I would like it, but I always like to drive some of these new ones, man. We actually did the International LT, which I found out LT superseded the Pro Star, so I was wrong in every way, shape, or form. 
not salty. Uh, but yeah, the Pro Star was good, man. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. It's a good, uh, it's a really good, uh, really good truck. It's a nice one for a, a, a new, uh, nice for a new flare. We got that uh, 9 to 74 900A, so we got that one come out. I've also got a 521. That's a good one. Of course, we still got a 389, got a 378. That one's coming. Some good stuff. Some really good stuff. So, anyway, if you guys are kind of curious where we're at, so we're going down to City Obregon. So, this is, uh, we're in Viva, Mexico. Uh, so we've been over the border here for a few, but anyway, we're gonna probably make this our stop for the evening Just because the time is getting about where I wanted to keep it. Uh, so that's gonna be absolutely perfect for a uh, Kind of a chill layback Friday stream um, So let you guys know as we're kind of fixing to come into town here. We probably Chances are will not be I do not play any mobile games. No, I'm all drive sim uh, That's my that's always been my heart and favorites. Um, I'll play a few things with the controller um, I used to be a huge uh, FPS guy, and um, yeah, I went world ranked in the uh, Halo when they rolled their stuff out. I uh, got really competitive with that, and then I just had to, uh, you know, basically almost lost my life on that one. Um, not literally like lost it, lost it, but like, you know, girlfriends and all that, which now is my wife. So, Abdali, is that right? Abdali? I think so. Thank you there, Adal. I appreciate it, man. Um, whoops, got to turn left. So yeah, so uh, so I, I got out of something else, and then actually got into Flight Sims X Plane. That was really that was really where I got back in it. Uh, then I got uh, introduced to Farm Sim and thought it was stupid, and then I was like, oh, but I love it. And then I got introduced to ATS for ETS, and now here we are, Rally, all these kind of cool driving sims. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at now. So anyway, so they're jam truck hour, man. New trailers? Well, um, not really. Oh, the rescue mod? Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, some of that stuff, I don't know. Some of that stuff, it never really works the way it's supposed to. Um, I, I mean, I've actually got a wrecker mod and the wrecker parts to pull. So I, I guess I don't necessarily go after those types of things. Just because I've kind of got the other, you know, the alternative that, you know, I'm not saying it, but you guys don't have it yet, so. But I, I never really have gotten into some of those with ATS because it just wasn't very, like, you know, it wasn't very, um, I don't know. They didn't work really well. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and it always seems like as soon as someone puts some of that stuff out, it's like, and he goes out of date, like, it's out of date. I'm like, ah, just started pulling the trailer. What the heck, man? <laughs> uh, the new flight sim? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, the one thing that I, one thing I wanted to do is there's a new one called, uh, it's a bush sim, bush, uh, bush pilot sim. It's a uh, dead stick. Um, that one I want to get. I actually want to, because I've got the yoke, uh, and I've got some other throttle controls and stuff, so I'm going to see if there's a way that I can make the setup work uh, in here, and then make it work to where I can do some cool stuff here, have the yoke here, um, and then be able to uh, to be able to do some of that on a, you know, weekly basis here and there. It'd be kind of fun to sprinkle some of that stuff in, but that, that I'm looking forward to. Oh yeah, Blaze Rager. Yeah. Yep. I think everybody's got that one now. I think he got leaked out. <laughs> everybody's got it. All right, so we'll stop at Nava Navajoa. So yeah, we got eight minutes. Yeah, we'll stop at Navajoa. Hey, what's up, Pinga? Yeah, I figured you might recognize that, man. <laughs> you have to let me know, man. I'm still rolling on that latest update you got. 1-3... One, 1-3-5. Three, one, three, I can't remember the name, but... Yeah, man, so we got the... The FR... 
780, 730. Can't remember what this one's got on it, but yeah, it's a good one. It's a doozy. All right there, Scott. Have a good day, buddy. Optimus Prime. We are using the Cat 550. Looks like Navajo was uh, really... Oh, here we go. Yeah, hey, you know what? Yeah, Robbie, I know, man. I know. And it's, uh, you know, especially if they're doing their own original stuff to it, like, I can't fault them for that. Uh, I understand people talking about the legalities of it, but, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, if, if Peterbilt or Kenworth really cared, they'd already gone after him. I mean, they're, they're not making enough money to pay a lawyer bill. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of, you know, I kind of get in that camp where I'm just, it's not worth it, you know, because I look at it donations. I give Viper donations, you know, um, give I've given most of all these freeware guys. I've given them all decent donations for uh, their time, so I don't look at the payware guys any differently. That's just me. But not everyone feels that way, and I do hate to get leaked and stuff. As I know some of these guys, I mean, it's part of what they consider for their livelihood. Spend a lot of time creating some really slick stuff. And, um, it's a business. It is what it is. Alright. So we'll, uh, we'll stop here for the, uh, whoops. Stop here for the evening. So, uh, there we go. So we got the, uh, let's see. Let's pull it up here if you guys can see. There we go. So we got the 990 and... Pinkus trailer, so I'm gonna start doing some other things uh, with him and do. I'm gonna do another nice little update because this thing's got some some nice updates to it. So uh, I'll uh, I'll get up with Pinga and we will uh, make sure we got the latest updates. So you guys can see what all is new with that. He's done a lot of updating of the trailer. has got a ton of loads, got a ton of different configurations. So that mod is now kind of starting to take its kind of final shape and form. So it's really cool. We've gotten a lot of free updates on that one since we purchased. That was like maybe one three three. Whenever they uh, first came out with the new trailer ownership. So we got that going in the house um, and got a couple other things. We got a lot of new trucks out this week. So I got to put them all together and figure out which ones I don't have any issues with. Make sure we can kind of run all of this stuff tandemly. So if you guys got requests, please throw them in the Discord. Or if you want to, just comment at the end of this video. It's fine. Um, I like to know what you guys want to see. Because um, at the end of the day, if you guys are wanting to see it, then that's what you'll come and actually watch. So uh would take that to the bank with us so anyway so that's gonna be it for me i hope you guys had a good one so thank you there to all our new uh subscribers and uh let's see actually let's see let's give some shout outs here mr rob wilson that's 25 dollars donation so maybe thinking again there mr. rob and mr espino has a couple of uh a couple of nice ones in there as well mr highland Wooderwolf, nice super chat mr ed and we also had another one there for mr espino and one of our uh sponsors there mr shane ramsey as well a uh, nice, uh, nice uh, five dollars super chat and Mr. Brian. Oh no, that was uh, that was the last stream. So sorry, that was the one. And then our uh, new member, Mr. John Anderson. So thank you, there, John. Appreciate it as well. And Case Man, Mike Brown, Randall Weeks. See all these guys in green and stuff. They're all new, uh, and most of them are relatively new, uh, new sponsors here and members to the channel. So if you want to, if you have no idea what any of that is, it's four ninety nine a month. Uh, it just comes out regularly, so uh, at the beginning of each month, it'll come out whenever you hit that join button. Uh, so it's $4.99 a month, and, um, and it kind of adds to it. So it's nice to have it just sponsors the stream, uh, and I kind of uh, you know use that as part of uh, even donations or anything else. Um, so it's a good way to support the channel. You get your name in green. You get some nice cool emotes in there. So we've got some guys in there. It's been uh, over well over a year and a half, 17, 18 months. So it's really cool to see those guys in there. Agent 77, what's up, man? Uh, the mod is actually on the workshop, and the trailer mod is from Mr. Apinga. So those are kind of my two favorites right now. I'm still loving his uh, low boy. Uh, it's still one of my faves to be pulling around. Some of the other ones, I'm still waiting on some of those trailer mods to update. So it's taking a little longer than I wanted to, but it's all right. So, um, But anyway, so thank you guys for coming out and hanging out here in the live stream. Thank you there for your support. And if you want to hit that join button, hit that join button in our next live stream. Um, and that way I can give you a proper shout out. Uh, but even if you do this week, it doesn't matter. Come say, Hey, say, Hey, I just joined last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
get you another shout out so uh thank you there appreciate you coming in and uh running some mod work there for us mr zach appreciate that man uh as always and i guess for you guys i will see y'all here hey there we go it's mr chaos shadow walker so i've got some stuff coming out this week as well so he's in here uh we got his 9300 international uh very 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 nice trucks got some nice custom stuff into it custom interior uh that's hand done by the man himself so i'm excited to kind of get in there and actually do a uh, nice breakdown video for you guys on that one if you're uh, interested and want to look at being interested in uh, purchasing that but he's also got stuff on his facebook as well ping got all these really wonderful guys uh here that uh that work with me and i work with them here on the channel so it's great to have them in jt absolutely man finally made a stream <laughs> tower 40 ladder tower 40 ladder oh sorry man we're finally ended up man uh we just ended up for the night uh we should be back on sunday night i'm not gonna plan on tomorrow unless it's just something happens uh i'm gonna try to do sunday night uh, i don't normally do sunday but if sunday works sunday or monday uh, but you guys just keep looking on the channel and i'll get it scheduled out earlier than i did tonight but thank you guys for coming and hanging out uh for a nice viva mexico stream uh we'll do some more of this and we got some more stuff planned so anyway thumbs up guys Absolutely. I will see you all here in the next video. We'll see you guys. Peace.